All right, we're back with our landfall deck, and we've got three games, three wins. So on to game four. So yeah, this deck definitely uh, it's got it's a little clunky at certain points, but it's it's performing. It's it uh, you know has a game plan and it is doing it. Um, it's a thing with limited. You can almost never go wrong with creatures. Like you know, just even if you don't have that much cohesion, just throwing down big creatures and turning them sideways can just win the games. You know, so sometimes that is the way. And we got the Bolus Avatar, China Majesty. Right? See, this is the clunkiness I'm talking about. Um, and I do got a removal. I got an ambusher, so I have plays. Uh, green is my most common color in the deck. I got more green sources than anything else, so I think I can keep it. I'm not super excited about it. Probably would have been a better keep on the draw than the play. Uh, let's throw down a creature. Let's see. There you go. Sometimes things just pay off. Attack. All right, another possible rogues player. You got a piece of removal, probably like a lot of blood chiefs. The one black to kill something, two or less. And then kicker, maybe. Maybe they don't. Demonic Disciple, okay, it's respectable. Um, huh. Yeah, I'll get the Necropod. The Ambusher, at least I can, uh, you know, pay mana to make it bigger. Uh, in fact, is probably what I'm going to do. And, you know, we got the Rolling Regrowth. I could have cast that this turn to ramp, but uh, I really don't have much to ramp into. And if I get something with Landfall, I'd rather have Landfall triggers later. So um, if I drew something like a Moag, then I'm definitely going to cast that to make sure I can cast him the following turn. But for right now, that's fine. I'm going to play down the Grazer, and I'm just going to burn that Rogue, and you guys can go in. I was thinking here. So, I mean, depending on what I draw, I might. Oh, wish I had to burn now. Okay, so yeah, I am going to Spitfire Legac. And then I'm going to go to combat. Swing, swing. If they want to trade that guy for the Grazer, I'm fine with that. I will. I'll activate him. Return a basic land. Can trade. And I'll get a landfall trigger. And that's fine because I still got the roiling, so I'll get two more triggers off of that next turn. But, you know, depending on how much life gain he's got. Now, it's not black white, so it's not the cleric stack, but the blight priest could. Uh, you know, we're playing an aggressive deck, so any amount of life gain they have is not something I want. Now, I mean, admittedly, I'm sacrificing uh, guaranteed landfall triggers every turn, but... Okay. 
Go to combat. Swing with everything. If he decides to block the uh, ambusher, I'll just pump it. If not, I'll probably uh, oh, duelist. It changes math up a little bit. So yeah. Keep the death toucher smaller. That's fine, and then kill the death toucher. Sure. I'm not going to pump the ambusher this turn though. I'm just gonna end the turn. Because the rolling is an instant, so I'll play it at the end of their turn. So I, I still got the Arbor Mage. Would have liked to have Arbor Mage the Death Toucher. Deadly Alliance. Okay, in response. Sack of Forest. I'm going to grab another Forest to replace that one and a Mop. And since Moag's three cost, or two cost, uh, two red, I want to make sure I got a spare red just in case. Okay, so I play that forest. I'm just going to start swinging because I can pump that ambusher multiple times. They got to double block it to kill it, which they will do. Activate ability once, and activate ability twice. And so it's two for one. I mean, they got more cards than me, so they might be wearing me down attrition wise, but I still got a Moag. Um, still got another burn spell. Right? I got second order eruption. Okay, I'm just going to throw this down to get a creature down. I won't be able to block that, but once I get another creature, the Constrictor can just chump the Arbor Mage. The Arbor Mage will live. Just keep that pressure up. A lot of things I can draw here and get me out of this. So, And I am still at 20, so it's not like... Just concerned if they're playing a more controlly deck, they, uh, you know, they manage to get rid of a bunch of my threats. They could have some big bomb for later. If they want to swing at me with the uh, constrictor, that's fine, because I win that race. Um, maybe they got a piece of removal. Maybe they got a combat trick. So we'll see. Could have a sure strike. Sure strike would blow me out of the water there. Um, gonna swing. See what they got. Yeah, Sky Dancer. Okay. And they managed to mail my all eruption. Kill the constrictor. Turn my fort down. I didn't play my fort first because it's just bluffing, maybe having a trick or something. Fort does have reach, so 
can block that Sky Dancer, and now it means any creature I throw down can be a threat. It can be a Moag. Another Mana Sky. I'll let it through. They could have a trick, and I'd much rather. See, I don't even need to kick that guy. Look at that. Kind of make him have to block it with a sneak. It's fine. I'm fine with top decking if all my creatures have haste. And they're at 5 and I'm at 18. You know, we still got some big creatures. They did mill that royal. I mean, that royal would have just ended it. Oh, they zoffed. Okay, that... That changes things a little bit. Well, now that I know they got no tricks, I'll just block. And we'll play a land. Now this got a lot closer. I still think they have something in their hand, like um, Subtle Strike or something like that. Last pull mimic is going to come in as a copy of the Sky Dancer. Okay, well, two useless cards there just got milled. Okay, well, we'll see what sort of tricks they have. They could have a counter, and they have a counter. They kept both on top. That's not good. Okay, it looks like this is uh, feeling pretty bad. Deadly Alliance. Okay, so now you guys don't have haste anymore. Looks like they may have pulled it off. Well, I'm just going to play this with Kicker. Just to get lands out of my deck. So that my next couple draws are better. I'm going to keep them though in case I get stuff with landfall triggers. I only got 10 cards left. Um, I have one turn. Now that will give me a card draw. I'm not going to target anything. It'll give me some life. Discard both the lands. Little Death Toucher. Lost a life. I still survive this turn. But now it's pretty much over. To see what I draw. Yep. Well, first loss. Man, that mill and that royal eruption. Because that would have just ended it right there. I could have kicked it. Five. But oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. And a couple questionable plays that game, so. Another Bolus Avatar. It's decent. Got the Royal Eruption for something if it's a problem. I got the Snare Caster. And just to work on getting that Moag out. Yeah, them having the counter for the Moag too also really hurt. Because he would have come down, swung, they would have had to block. Throw the Vastwood down. If I start getting flooded with land, um, I'll be able to Power Classic Heli in the uh, Vastwood back to my hand and get a spell out of it if I don't need to land anymore. Now the Royal Eruption is good. 
kill whatever they're throwing down. Uh, they also played a Vasquez, they're playing Mountains, so looks like they're on a similar train. Once we get that down, that can block a 3-3. Three, three. If they do anything special to it, I'll just burn it. I'm going to put a Kite Sail on it or something. Spit Fire. So I'll throw down a Death Toucher. And yeah, I think I'll just Royal Eruption that. No attacks. Fastwood Surge. So you can get two triggers off of the Wakak. Another basic land. Okay, so bail off. No attacks. Oh, I guess I could have attacked with Death Toucher. It's probably better to keep it back for right now anyway. Probably do. If I draw a land next turn, I'll play a land, Bailoff will get bigger. Uh, swing in if they happen to block the 1 4. Uh, burn down whatever blocks it. That changes things a little. All right, play land. Combat swing. Okay, so we're just going to trade there. And then I'm going to play the ascetic, gain some life. Next turn, I'll play the uh, pyroclastic. Um, Depending on what I draw. Oh, that's going to be a good Royal Eruption target. That's a lot of triggers. Okay, so I'm going to play the land. And I'm going to play my lag. Wing with both of those. So we'll trade there. Cool. So they have a land and then whatever they drew. Now I'm going to play the uh, the Hellion, bounce a land, do two damage, swing, play the land again, get another combat. Sure. I mean, that's obviously they have a trick in their hand. So they're going to swing that into a, a Moag. Uh, so I'll just combat, swing with everything. Play the Hellion. Bounce a land. Do two damage. I mean, I drew the other land, so it was not necessary, but it's still better to get the creature on the board. Untap. Attack with everything again. And there's Moag, doing some work. And 
So opponent was playing a landfall deck also. I just got there a little better. They had, they had all their ramp early. They didn't have that much gas. You know, they had a whole bunch of land, but nothing to really cast with it. So we'll get a, another game here and then take a break. So we've had some Bolus avatars and we got an Uven avatar. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to throw my force down first so I can get the break blade out. Uh, I'll probably pay, play the tap line next turn. Oh, I'm going to have to reveal something. Um, uh, I'll reveal the ascetic. Not happy about that, but I want to keep my lands. Um, I definitely want to keep the fight card when I got a death toucher. Um, I'm going to throw this down as a land now so the rest of my stuff comes into play untapped. Uh, I'm not going to attack. Again, I want to keep the uh, the Death Toucher around. That's fine. I'll take the point. Throw down a mountain. Go to combat. See if he wants to block. That's fine. He can block. Put a 1 1 counter there. Play an Arbor Elf. Those two can just bounce off each other for a bit. Or we can each just sack a creature. Cool. I don't know why people keep the, the Disciple every time. Sacrifice the Disciple. Sacrifices a creature Planeswalker. Yeah, there's you can sacrifice that and then it could have swung in. That's a. Uh, Another case where that happened. Little Gak. Um, yeah, that's bad. Guess I'll ditch both the land. Because, I mean, I get another land and uh, can play the Hellion. Swing in. Save that as an instant. Take some damage. Muck Lord. I'll sacrifice forest. Get a forest and a mountain. Two triggers off the Legac. Combat, swing the Legac, play the Hellion, I'll bounce that land, and then play land. Last turn. Now the land that I bounced is also a combat trick. Now if I draw Moag next turn, I just bit myself in the ass. So, land for turn, trigger, combat, attack, they're going to double block, I think that's how I'm going to do that. I mean, I could fortification. It won't save them, but it will kill both their creatures. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that.
in turn. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with losing the Legac. The, the landfall triggers got their work done, and I mean, I have to play five more lands for it to kill them. I'd much rather just start uh, swinging with, clearing some room up on the board and swinging with big stuff. Okay, so didn't have Death Touch at the moment. Pass. He's going to swing. Okay. My turn. Combat. Swing in. Jump it. Pull. Throw down creature. And turn. I mean, they know about the portification, so it's not. You know. So it's not really a trick. I think we're still weak, is fine. And if they keep attacking with the Muckle or they gotta throw something down every turn, that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we can just win. I'll fortification. And then sacrifice. And there we go. So, take a little break after that. 